gosh. <laughs> many, many. <laughs> I've been here like a few times before. I mean, for like odd stuff. If I need to like grab something and I'm like in the area, I'll stop in. Yeah. But like, I don't come and do like a lot of grocery shopping here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I came to see the spectacle of the crazy that's going to be going on in there. I'm not. I just see the sign, so I wanted to see if there was any food that I could get that's kind of in my price range. I mean, I'm pretty sure Andronicos is a small business, right? I'm guessing, yeah. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't have, like, the fallback of having lots of different stores. I think that it's, like, kind of expensive, and it's, like, a place where, like, people come to make big shopping, and, like, students here are not going to make big shopping. They're just going to buy one thing or two. At this point, I don't think there is a difference between Safeway and Andronicos, and that's probably why they're failing. I think it might be because it's just trying to be organic and too big, because Whole Foods kind of already has that ground covered where they're a large store but they're organic so they kind of have been established for a while versus Andronicos. I don't know how long they've been around. For me, it would, now it's better for me because um, well I, I became a widow about two years ago and so I need fairly small amounts of things and I found in Safeway they're usually bigger batches and so I can't use them up in time. I've tried the same way. I went, oh, you know, that just doesn't work. Well, obviously, it's like, it's little, you know. Um, it's, I mean, it's not little, but like, it's smaller than a Safeway. It's when it has like good quality food and like people don't really come here because like, it's kind of expensive. It used to be that Andronico's had excellent customer service, the lines weren't long, and if there was like more than three people in a line, they'd open up a new check checkout counter or whatever. Everything seems to be on sale today. <laughs> I have like a little Keurig coffee maker and they've got some of the, you know, K-cups for making the coffee. Pretty much everything's yeah, like everything. 20 to 40% off. Like maybe meat, because usually meat's expensive. They have some like bread and stuff. So I'm just going to look at essentials like, you know, milk and eggs, but if there's something else like, you know, mixes to make treats, usually those could be kind of expensive, so I mean those are on sale, then yeah, I'll take advantage of that.